Hi everybody, thanks so much for being here. My name is James Parker. I'm one of the new co-directors at Detractus New Music. Uh, Detractus is a new music concert series that works to, create, to connect uh, ensembles and composers from around the world with our community here in Austin. To that end, we're so excited to be presenting Hub New Music tonight, a Boston-based ensemble who's put together an amazing show for us. We're so excited to be presenting it as our season opener. Um, just a few housekeeping things. Uh, just to make things move a little bit more smoothly, we've decided to pre-record all the elements of the show. So that means no matter how many times you request Freebird in the chat, your uh, calls will most likely not be answered. Speaking of the chat, use it. If, there's, if you hear something that makes your skin crawl or that makes you so excited that you can't contain yourself, let us know. Uh, part of the cool part about pre-recording all the elements of the show is that members of the ensemble and Team Detractus are going to be in the chat chatting with you uh, as we go. After the show, head on over to our Instagram account, at DetractusNM, uh, to hear about our own Matthew Arm Brewster, host a live Q&A with Mike Avitable, flutist and the founder of Hub. So save all your questions for the end. Uh, we need to give a shout out to fellow Detractus director Margaret Jumanville for running all the tech behind the scenes. She's truly a rock star. Um, to Hub for recording this breathtaking show for us, and of course, to you for being here. It's no secret that times are tough for everybody right now, and organizations like ours are just barely scraping by. We have a lot of really exciting shows in the work, including an online reimagination of our new work show and a brand new interdisciplinary commissioning project that pairs composers, performers, and video artists from around the world um, to create new work designed to be experienced online. But none of that happens without your help. Tonight's show is 100% free of charge because we believe that in uncertain times like these, um, people need the arts more than ever. If you like what you hear tonight and you care about the continued existence of our new music community here in Austin, please consider donating uh, by scrolling down and hitting the link in the description. No donation is too small. Thank you all so much for being here and enjoy the show. Music. My name is Alyssa. I'm Jesse. I'm Nicholas. And I'm Mike. And we're so happy to be bringing a great program of music to you today from the Detractus New Music series. Um, and we've got a lot of variety and we can't wait for you to hear. First piece in the program is Wavelengths by our friend Takuma Ito. Hope you enjoy it and enjoy this program. Hi, my name is Takuma Ito, the composer of the next piece, Wavelengths. It's such a great honor to be included in this video concert with Hub New Music. I've gotten to know these musicians over the past several years, and this is actually my second piece for them. Uh, with the first piece that I composed for them, called Faded Aura, I had the chance to follow them around on a tour of Japan with the Asia America New Music Institute, and I marveled at their dedication performing the same works so many times over the course of two weeks. It got me thinking how each performance can vary, and how I as the composer could sow some actual chaos into the music itself so that no two performances could ever sound alike. So when I composed Wavelengths, I designed the piece to go in and out of passages where not everybody is playing together in the same tempo. Sometimes everybody is off on their own, playing at their own tempos. Uh, at other times you'll hear two of them trying to keep things aligned in one tempo while the other two are seemingly ignoring them by design, of course, and other times they're playing together in one single tempo as they normally would. As a result, no two performances will ever sound exactly the same. Uh, there's, of course, an element of risk involved when the music is not supposed to align in some moments on purpose and then sync back together perfectly in other moments. But knowing how much these folks with Hub rehearsed and played together, I knew they would have no problems with it and actually make each performance really unique. I hope you enjoy this performance of wave Wavelengths. Thank you.
It's Katya Goch, and I'm excited to tell you a little bit about Rogi Mochi, the new mixed quartet that I wrote last year for Hub New Music, the wonderful ensemble here in Boston. And Rogi Mochi is really an exploration of order versus control and the embrace of chaos. And it's about 14 minutes long. It's structured in a series of six miniatures, which flow together without pause. And since each, each miniature has its own texture and emotion, there are a lot of mer mercurial changes, hence the title. The piece has dialectics, dichotomies of communication and alienation, disconnection and unity, dissolution and regeneration. So it, the piece completely falls apart in the middle and everyone is in their own world, but in the end, in the last movement, the idea, the ostinato which begins the piece returns and gets, there's a fugue which gets hijacked and then the opening idea returns and is finally allowed to fulfill itself after having been interrupted. So the piece ends in a state of affirmation, celebration of the shared resonance both between the individual players and for the ensemble as a whole. I've really enjoyed writing this piece. It was an amazing collaboration, and I hope that you enjoy Rok Emoji as performed by Hub New Music. I will be here in quarantine <laughs> doing my thing, so thanks so much.
Hi, I'm Michael Ippolito, and I'm the composer of Capriccio. I wrote this piece in 2019 for Hub New Music in response to several paintings by the important German-American artist Hans Hoffmann. The first movement takes its title from a painting called Lonely Journey, and I interpreted this as a kind of march through an expansive landscape. The uh, second movement is called Penombre du Soir, which is evening twilight, and uh, like the title suggests, it's all about kind of transitions between different states. The last movement is uh, from two paintings. One is called Bacchanal, which I interpret as a kind of wild Balkan dance, and this builds an intensity to Phantasmagoria, which is a kind of sequence of images like you might have in a dream. And in the final moments of the piece, you'll hear the, the music from all the movements kind of flash before your eyes before it comes to a wild conclusion. I hope you enjoy Capriccio.
Wow, what an incredible concert. Hi everyone, I'm Michael, um, and on behalf of all of Tetractus's co-directors, I wanna thank you for coming and listening to the show, um, whether you're listening now or whether you're listening on YouTube sometime in the future. And uh, we wanna thank Hub New Music for doing this, such an incredible ensemble. Um, we are just thrilled to be able to work together. Um, if you're listening live now, um, head on over to the Tetractus Instagram page for a live post-concert hangout with Michael from Hub New Music and our co-director, Matt Armbuster. Um, thanks again for listening. <laughs>